This is a demonstration of the legislation drafting prototype uh, web-based legislation authoring tool. What you can see here is a list of all of the legislation that's in the drafting system at the moment. Um, I'm going to start by creating a new bill. Um, first of all, I select the type. It can either be Primary Legislation Act of Scottish Parliament or a UK Public General Act, or it could be a Scottish Statutory Instrument or a UK Statutory Instrument. In this case, I'm going to create an Act of the Scottish Parliament. It's going to be a public bill and security type will be restricted, and we will call it the Demonstration Scotland Bill. Click Create Project. and we are now taken to the structure view of the bill. This is showing the high level outline of the bill in terms of parts, sections, chapters, etc. Here the bill has been created with the short title there, there's a long title element and the first section element is already created because the bill must have at least one section. Um, I can now give this section of title, we'll call this introductory um, and I can then use the buttons at the top to start adding to the structure of the bill so I can start by adding a second section on definitions and then a third section on exceptions. Having created these three sections, I decide that I actually want to split the bill into parts. So I select the part button to insert a part. And you can see here that two parts have been created. The first part includes the existing sections and the next part includes an empty section. I can now give part one a title, initial provisions, and I should also be able to give section two a title of detailed provisions. Now, um, I'm able to reorganize the provisions within this bill simply by dragging and dropping the relevant provisions as well as shifting around individual sections. I can also move whole parts and here I'm going to put part two before part one and then if I change my mind I can return the parts to their original order. If I want to edit um, the text of the bill, I can select the icon here to see the whole bill and here you can see that the structure has moved to the left hand side of the screen and in the main part of the screen the text editor, editor has opened up with the text of the whole bill which you can see here from title through to the different sections. Um, equally, if I wanted only to edit part of the bill, I can click on structure, which takes me back to the structure view, and by selecting the icon next to the relevant provision, say I'm interested in editing part one, I can click the icon there, and again that takes us back through to the editor. But this time, all that I can see is part one and the provisions in that part. I'm now able to start entering text within the editor. So in section one, I can add some text. Um, 
and I can also add different kinds of elements into the clause. So here in section two, I can choose insert and if I want to insert a subsection, I've created a new subsection um, and I can add some subtext and then I can insert further subsections after that which and you can see that these subsections are automatically numbered as they are created and here I can delete this redundant element so we're left with section 2 um, having two subsections and I can then save that back into the system and also um, I can make changes to any part of the text here so if I decide that the title to section 2 is wrong I can simply edit that to say something else so and as I delete the title here you can see in the left in the structure pane that the deletion is mirrored there too And here I can give it a new name. And again, I'll save that. And if I go back to the structure view, you see that that change has been reflected in the title there. Going back to part one for the moment, um, I want to show you the creation of a, a cross reference. Here we have sections one to three of part one showing. In section two, I've already created subsections one and two. And if I wanted to make a cross reference to them, I could type in, um, this is a cross reference to, and I can now use the structure pane on the left to select section two and clicking on the cross-reference icon there, brings up a pop-up showing section two and the sub-elements of that. In this case, I'm interested in subsection two, so I click on subsection two, and you can see here that a cross-reference section two, subsection two has been inserted. Um, and the key thing to note here is that this reference between section three and section two is um, a reference that will auto-update as the numbering of the provisions change. So if I now decide to insert a new section after section 1, put my cursor there and select insert clause, you can see that a new clause 2 has been created here, um, but the cross-reference in section 4 has been automatically updated so that it now refers to section 3, subsection 2 rather than section 2, subsection 2, as it did before. I can then save that and go back to the main page showing all the bills that are in the system at the moment.